Hello everyone. Today we're going to show the proper way to install and uninstall the processor from your EVGA motherboard. The first thing you want to do is remove the socket protector. So you want to remove it like so. And you want to make sure to remove the socket in a straight up fashion. So now that we have the CPU socket protector removed, you want to make sure that you're very careful with the pins. Do not touch the pins or drop anything in the... Oh, uh... Alright, let's, let's try this again. Make sure not to drop anything in the processor socket. I was lucky this time, but I could have easily ended up with bent CPU pins. The next thing you want to do is install your processor. So the first thing you want to look at is, is at the CPU notches. You can see a notch here. This corresponds with a notch in the socket. So make sure these line up properly. There's one on each side. And install it in a straight downward motion. Next, you can close the latch. And now you are ready to install your heatsink. So the first thing you want to make sure of install when installing your CPU cooler is to make sure your motherboard is on a flat surface preferably outside of the chassis. Next you want to make sure to screw in each of the posts evenly to make sure that your heatsink is not swaying to one side which could also cause some of the CPU pins to be bent. So the way I will do this is I will screw in one side, for example the bottom right hand corner and then I will do the same to the top left hand corner making sure not to over tighten any particular side. Now when removing the CPU, what you want to do is first remove the latch and you want to pull the CPU out in an upwards, a straight up motion, like so. So make sure that when you're gripping the CPU to be very, to grip it very tightly because you can... Alright, now you can see that's why we say that you need to be very careful with the pins. You can see here I have several bent pins which will probably render the board inoperable and you may also incur some damaged charges when you send it back for RMA. Now when transporting your motherboard you want to make sure to install the socket protector back onto the motherboard before sending it back. So to do that what you want to do is put it straight down make sure not to move it around at all which could damage the pins you just want to put it straight down and then you can close the latch. Here are a few images of some boards we have received back with bent pins. You want to make sure you identify any possible bent pins before sending this back for RMA service. 